SSSK vibe maker. We got London in the house. London on the track. Yo, yo, yo. How about that, man? The go to producer. So, I mean, like, when you look at your discography, your production catalog, it's not a joke. So, you know what I'm saying? And you started out rapping in the beginning, right? Yep. So, for those that don't know, London on the track, give us like a concise musical history thus far. Church. Church, yeah? yeah? Did you actually start in the church? Started in church, playing piano. And how did you make the transition from like into rapping and producing? Because you know, church can be kind of like the opposite of the rap world. Definitely can. But my grandmother, she was, you know, like in the church a lot. So she used to always take me, you know, to make, you know, make sure I had positive vibes and stuff like that. So, you know, I learned a lot just by being around the church atmosphere and playing the piano roads and drums, stuff like that. That got, that kind of helped me become a musical you know, person, and um, I started rapping, the transition with rapping, it's just like my struggle, you know, everybody has struggle and go through stuff, mm -hmm. so I kind of wanted to tell my pain and my struggle, mm -hmm. and, um, with, you know, the whole production behind it, I wanted to uh, make my own beats, I felt like nobody else could make beats mm -hmm. better than I could make for myself, so mm -hmm. I did it for myself as a rapper, and, you know, I just stay consistent at it. People hear the tag, you know what I mean, on all of the productions, mm -hmm. you know, um, London on the track, and they just think it's a gimmick. But London is actually your real name, your first yes, name, right? Real name. real name. First. I mean, but how did it transition from, you know, having your first name London to then, you know, London on the track, real name out there, everything? Because I'm on the track. <laughs> I was really on the track rapping. And uh, shit, I made a beat. And that's the Kodak Black sample and Young Fog sample as well. Mm -hmm. Was London on the, on the track the, the first choice of the of the name? That you always was going with from the beginning. Yeah, yeah I never had like London beats, none of this. Mm. Like London on track. Yeah. One thing that I've noticed about your work, your production, which can't be said about a lot of producers, is that you have a lot of variation. Mm. At the risk of obviously having a signature sound, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But you have a lot of variation when you hear hook up and you hear about the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and you hear like um, no stylist. Church man. A lot of variation. Is that something that you work hard on? In like you know what I mean having a lot of variation in your production yeah definitely in the sound I work hard studying so you know with it could be cinematic music it can be uh horror music um movies mm -hmm. um you know shows uh you know just studying researching and uh it kind of help help my sound mm -hmm. and to what i want to do you know watching a lot of wrestling growing up mm -hmm. seeing the undertaker come out with the you know, scary sound of music. I liked the Michael Myers back in the day with the knife. I liked the, dun, 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 you know, the little pianos and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it kind of helped me out with, you know, how I want my sound to be. So when you hear like Chick, and you hear like Digits, all the stuff that I did for Young Thug, all the slime seasons, it comes from that. It comes from, you know, what I grew up wanting to be mm -hmm. and what character I wanted to be as like when I was Halloween or, you know, as a young guy, I just always wanted to, do scary shit and that was you know that's my background sirens and fire and I like to you know when I was young I used to like blowing down houses and long games and shit straight like, that. like <laughs> I was a savage you know what I mean? mm. and you are probably the producer who has produced for Young Fog the most you got a lot of production credits with Young Fog yeah, yeah. I mean where did that obviously both be in Atlanta where did that relationship begin Atlanta for so sure, high school oh you went to school together yeah Straight up, I mean, was you always tight from school days? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we was tight from for, like 14, 15 years old. Mm, so you made music from from young. There must be a lot of music that people have heard, of music. right? Yeah, yeah. Before before we went like global, we we was already taking over the city. About the money, Ti, yep. Young Fug. So would you say that was your second platinum record? Second. Second. How? What was the first one? Lifestyle. Uh huh. Rich Gang. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much do those platinum plaques actually mean? You know, some producers say it doesn't mean that much. It's just another thing. Does it mean much to you? Yeah, definitely do. Every every song means it, 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 it. There's all of them equal to me. If you know, we put it out together. Uh, and if it's like you know approved by me and the artist, every song I do is a moment. It's never a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I put my heart into it. Mm. So you went to school with Young Fug. You've mm -hmm. known each other for a long time. Yes. And the world definitely views him as quite a, an enigma, an enigmatic character. Yeah. I mean, how is it working with him? 
uh we kind of like you know the same people so it's like we 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 relate to each other like i understand them when it, what what you know the content and stuff that he put out i understand everything so it's easy working with him mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying we come from the same city from the same struggle so it's mm -hmm. like whatever we whatever he doing i i can fuck with it mm -hmm. because we the same people you understand him i understand him and him being like sort of the the flag bearer the poster boy of like mumble rap I mean, do you get the criticism that mumble rap gets? Do you understand it? You know, I don't look at it as mumble rap. I, I look at it as people ain't don't cut from the same cloth or they just don't you know, understand us. Mm -hmm. Maybe we, when, when people come to our city, they understand us. Mm -hmm. Just like when we come to UK, mm -hmm. like we don't understand exactly what people say in UK because, you know, mm -hmm. they talk different and, they lingo different. Mm -hmm. But if you come to our city, you understand, okay, damn, this is what Doug was saying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You'll feel different coming to our city. So that's, you know, people that, you know, just act like they they call him, I guess, mumble rap. They just don't, you know, understand. Do you understand that, that maybe other people outside of the city, outside of, you know, Atlanta and outside of Georgia have a lot of trouble in deciphering it, you know, trying to understand it? That's on them. <laughs> Do you have the same problem when you come to London trying to understand UK artists? No, because I only fuck with artists that's like relatable. I can tell by their body language. I can tell by their character, you know, how they are in the, in the room, how they move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like another guy like Giggs, like he moved like a gangster. I grew up with gangsters. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely. Before we pressed yeah. the button and we started recording and we started conversating today, yeah. um, you were listening to some UK music. You were listening to some grime, and you had gigs on there. Yeah, when like. I come out here, I, are you gonna hear his gigs? Mm -hmm. That's all I play. Like what I just it? heard his new song, Pistol. He just dropped. What is it about gigs for you? I just fuck with that boy. Mm -hmm. Grimy, mm -hmm. cutthroat. So you are definitely you've been making the transition from you know a producer to an artist. Hmm. You know, coming from out the shadows, being mm -hmm. like on the tracks, like London on the track, featuring the artists, so mm -hmm. everyone gets to know. How has that transition been? Has it been easier? Has there been much of a struggle? No, it, it's not a struggle. It's just, you know, I just was too behind the scene, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in the studio 24 24, which I still am, but, you know, I want people to actually get in tune with who I am, then what I am, you know what I'm saying? They always hit a tag, but they don't know who it is, mm -hmm. they don't know the face, so I feel like. You know, me being on the scene and doing both, you know, studio work at the same time, do a halftime, they'll, they'll know who I am. I want people to get to know who I am, you know what I'm saying, and know that we got London on track. It means more than just what you're hearing. It's, mm -hmm. it's actual, you know, it's some history behind that. Mm -hmm. So when they, you know, when they, when people like you interview me, they'll know, okay, I fuck with this boy. Is there any idea to go back to, you know, the rapping, what you was doing back in the early days? Shit, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you got live records as well you set that up your live own label records, yeah what's the plan with that artists producers i got it mm. got a big team you got a lot of artists mm -hmm. mm. i mean is the plan for you to always be a hip-hop producer would you step outside of that would you produce any afro beats or any country music or any yeah, i'm doing that now I'm, I'm doing it now but you know i gotta you know make other uh, uh, artists believe that i can do it Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about getting in with the right artists. Mm -hmm. You couldn't Bitty. be London on the track and not come to London. I mean, have you come here many times and felt good yeah, here? I've been here, it's like my fourth time coming here. Um, I love it here. It's like really supposed to be my first home, but it's my second home. Mm -hmm. It's a lot come behind, you know, my name. Mm -hmm. Now, you're definitely a heavyweight in the game. You've set up your own label. You're about your business. Do you have much business advice for upcoming producers? Like if you had a piece of business advice that you could give them from the beginning, like one of the single most important things, what would that be? And whatever it is, just stay consistent. You know, if you gon' you know, sign artists, hella artists, stay consistent, sign them artists, whatever you want to be successful, just be consistent. Mm. So, How do you combat when you get requested by an artist that you're not really feeling for some production work? Do you swerve that, or is there any way around that to make it happen? If I ain't feeling the if artist, you're not feeling the artist. Mm, if I ain't feeling, if if I ain't really feeling the artist, I probably wouldn't even get in with the artist. Mm -hmm. I, like they probably probably wouldn't hear back from me if I ain't feeling them like that. Mm. Yeah. 
do you have any plans to work with any UK artists aside from gigs like maybe? Yeah, for sure. If they don't, mm -hmm. yeah. You're open to that? I'm open to it. Now, you definitely got a forthcoming album. We're hearing about the debut album, Who Would Have Known? Who Would Have Known, yeah. What can you tell us about it? Man, who Would Have Known? It's been coming for a bit. You know, Who Would Have Known is just, you know, it's an album that, you know, people wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. you, is it all hip hop? Yeah, who would have known? <laughs> is it a conceptual project? Who would have known? <laughs> is it hood gangster stuff or is it like some commercially viable stuff? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So no stylist. Drake, French Montana. French Montana Drake is one of the latest ones. Yes, sir. Another one which does not sound like, you know, a signature song. From London on the track because you don't have a signature sound because you're very versatile. Appreciate How that. did this come around? Um, it came around like with I, the Spanish guitar. I got the Spanish guitar sample off the internet, and then you know I laced it up. Me and my boy Hector, we did the track together. He signed to my label too. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, do we call him OT? And uh sent to the French, he did the hook, and then he sent it to Drake, Drake knocked it out. Simple as that. Yeah. S -S 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 SK Vibe Maker.